Welcome to another Infinite Painter 6 tutorial. Today I will tell you about brushes. Let's start from the basics. In Painter we use the name brush for any painting or drawing instrument. So this is a brush, this is a brush and this is a brush. But also this and this and even this. Ok. In addition each brush may work in three basic modes. Paint mode, blend mode and erase mode. In blend, paint mode the brush applies color to canvas. In blend mode it blends colors and in erase modes it removes colors to transparency. In fact there are other hidden modes that change the behavior of brushes. This is cloning mode and selection painting both like here in selection environment and in filter environment. In all of these situations you can use every brush from your collection. Of course certain brushes are better for certain functions and there are examples of special brushes that cannot be used for certain purposes. Painter offers about 60 preset brushes out of the box. Besides that you can download hundreds of free brushes created both by the developer and the community of users. And you can of course create your own custom brushes. Default or built-in brushes are sorted into six folders or categories. Sketch, Ink, Paint, Spray, Watercolor and Harmony. The names correspond to real-world media but this is only a general hint. Default brushes in Painter are not meant to mimic specific real media tools even if some of them do. For example Watercolor brushes generally behave like real watercolors. Sprays uh, behave like real airbrushes and sprayers. But of course Harmony brushes have no real world equivalent. You can edit each preset brush. You can rename it but you cannot move it to another folder or delete it. There are three other special folders here. Created for brushes that you've created yourself, download for downloaded brushes and favorites where you can place your favorite tools. Uh, note that the items in favorites are only shortcuts to actual brushes, not the duplicates. Let's download some brushes. Here tap on the plus icon and pick community, it's not obvious. And what you see here is an online list of brushes. There are actually hundreds or maybe even thousands of them. Currently there are no tools for searching for specific brushes but as far as I know the system is under development. At least uh, samples are good and we can download the brushes in batches and that goes fast. Ok, I pick as many brushes as, as I like and when I'm done selecting I just hit back arrow and we have the brushes here in download. Ok, you can freely edit downloaded brushes, you can test them and you can decide if you want to keep them or just delete them. In Painter all brushes are fully editable, no matter where they come from. There are only a few special brushes that are only partially editable. Uh, to edit a brush you tap on the settings icon and you have access to the brush editor. The number of controls here may be confusing so I intend to make a separate video sorting them out. Now only basics here. You can play with controls as you like all changes you make here are applied in real time so we can test everything on the canvas spacing okay but be warned this is your real canvas and all the test strokes are affecting your active layer this is good because you can have the settings open all the time you work, but on the other hand you may damage your painting if you are not careful. So better undo your test strokes immediately.
OK. You can rename current brush, but it doesn't create a copy, just changes the name. If you want to create a copy, just tap plus icon and enter the name. If you want to revert to original settings, you can always tap the reset button. If you want to quit the editor, tap X button. If you want to confirm changes, use the check mark. You can access the brush editor from three points. From the brush thumbnail here, from the size settings, and from opacity settings. One important remark about brush settings here. As a brush may work in three modes, paint, blend, and erase, all settings remain common in all modes except for two, brush size and brush opacity. These are separate for each mode, and so don't be confused. In the next video I'll show you how to create your own brushes. This is pretty easy, and you will be surprised how useful such custom brushes can be. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.